Welcome to Crazy Nuns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, a star the timer. All right, ding. So, TNT, we're, we're, we're verbose creatures. We speak words to each other, right? You know, it's all about language and communication, you know? All right, I like so, where this is going. And sometimes you say something without thinking, and you realize, oh, damn, I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> I've definitely had those moments. right so that was that's the question can you think of an incident where you said something and we're like oh god oh, man I really <laughs> shouldn't have said that it's hard for me to pinpoint one because that's like probably one of my one of my biggest uh, knocks against myself is that I, I speak without thinking. You're blunt and honest. I'm very blunt. I'm very blunt and I honestly you know even <laughs> I don't want to like uh, give a blanket apology, but anybody out there who I've been super blunt with, including you, Jonas, I apologize. I try not to be, but I know it's a problem. Well, see, I, I prefer people to be blunt. I would much rather you be like, yo, when you do this, it annoys the F out of me. And I'm like, oh, sorry, homie. I didn't mean I was, I didn't know I was doing no. that for sure. But most people can't take that. Yeah, yeah, especially women. Which right. is, you know, women. I, 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 also, I also have had the problem with ex-girlfriends where they're like, um, they're just like, Wow. And I'm like, why should I need to sugarcoat it? Don't you want to know how I really feel? <laughs> like, I can be... And here's the thing. I'm not trying to be mean. And I will apologize. And here's my other problem with this same thing. I will apologize that I hurt your feelings with my words. <laughs> He's single too, ladies. Yeah, if you're right. interested, just letting you know. Right. Because here's the thing, man. <laughs> go ahead, I try go to ahead, give people the shadow of a doubt. You know what I mean? Like, so if somebody says something and I'm kind of like, wow, that was kind of a dick thing to say. And it may have like offended me a little bit. I try to be like, you probably didn't mean it that way. And be like, hey, when you said X, Y, Z kind of made me feel a certain way and if they didn't meet if they weren't literally trying to hurt my feelings yeah. i can be i can compartmentalize that and go better way to say that i get it we're cool but i don't feel i should make that person apologize to me because no. what they said hurt my feelings unless they <sighs> meant to do it so that's where i i have a hard time i have a hard time apologizing for okay. things that so i don't do on purpose so here we go i'm gonna give a different perspective all right that. and i and i love this okay so you agree that you're accountable for every word that you say because yes. whether you like it or not right. you are right i mean if i just walked out here okay. and said the edward was like oh didn't mean to say that it's still <laughs> I mean, it's still offensive right like didn't mean to slip that out of yeah, the mouth yeah, you know yeah. but it did happen and by the way i don't like you bringing up last night i'm still a little angry <laughs> I'm about bitter that, about that <laughs> I'm still by a little the way. angry about you just that. walk out of the bedroom like hey edward <laughs> you're like excuse me oh sorry dude didn't know you were wrong. <laughs> no but i also believe is that while you're responsible for every word that you say you're also responsible for your delivery I mean, that's true. Because whether you want to be a politician or you want to be in a, a leader role, your delivery is going to matter just as much as the words that you say. Okay. Which is why I make it a point of contention with myself that I want to try to, uh, I wouldn't say fix, but I want to try to be more cognizant of the way that I say things. Because whether you like it or not, it's going to affect people, you know? Yeah, oh, it does. So, sure. so when it comes to... If I were to say, <laughs> if I were to say, you know, oh, fuck you, bitch, and I say it like that, and like, you know, ha, ha fuck you, bitch, when I was like, fuck you, bitch, that's that's leading to a different type of feeling that I'm gonna get. Right, right, you know? right. So, but, right, yeah, you're, you're so true. So, what, what, what do you got? What well, you? I agree, okay. I agree to that. Okay, but then there's also, but there's also people out there. No, okay. Who? This is where I thought you were gonna are, go with it. Who are very sensitive to word words or tone and you can be like they're like you don't have to use that tone with me and you're like what tone what tone are you fucking talking about yeah okay and, you're, and and it's like is or that get, you or, is that you not regulating your words or are they sensitive and they think you're mad when you're not or yeah, whatever yeah like but like you said if i'm like if you be it's hard to not take <laughs> You right bitch. exactly yeah, but you know sometimes i'll talk to somebody and they'll say I'll, I'll be saying something they'll go what'd you say and then i'll be like what i said was and they're like you don't have to get a, that tone and i'm like 
Yeah. What are you talking? I'm just repeating yeah. what I said. Like, yeah. Yeah. why do you feel a way about having to make me repeat myself? And then yeah. now that's being projected onto how I'm. So talking. Yeah, there's going to be that misinterpretation. And there's also the people that get hung up on like profanity. Yeah. Like, I hate that. Well, I'm trying to finish the damn show. Why are you using that type of language? Yeah, that's how I talk. Yeah. That's how right. I talk, lady. Right. Person. I can, I can definitely say that I've been in an argument with somebody and been like. The argument why? becomes about the F word. I'm just like, why do you ask swear at me? Why can't you just talk to me? Because uh, they're like, you F and do this and you F. I'm like, can you leave all that extra swearing really? out of that it? that bothers you? It just depends. It, it just, it's, it, and it, it's, it's situation dependent. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's your preference on how dude, you how me and you he talk, me. and you'll be like this f and this and that. I don't care about that at all. But like, if we're having a real conversation, and you're like this you f and this and you f and that, yeah. that that's almost disrespectful in a way because it's like because why can't you say you do this and it makes me feel like this or you f and do this and it, I f and feel like that because you're f and it's like that's way more aggressive. It than, is more aggressive. So it's like you know it, it's dependent. I will have to say is that. That type of stuff does not bother me if I'm in if I'm having a heated argument with somebody and they're using using it towards me. I would never be the one to use it because I like to at least think that I'm uh, more mature than that and that I have yeah. a, a, I can I can think of other words to use that are just going to help my side of the case if it's a like a debate. Right, right. But I, I see where you're coming from because I definitely know people where as soon as you start using that type of language, it it intense it it. Kicks it up right because it intensifies the, the language. Swearing at someone is an is an act of aggression, whether you want it to be or not. Just like and just like just like there's passive ways to say stuff, there's aggressive ways. Like you, you know what I mean? Like you, just like you can be like, oh, well, I guess it doesn't. Da 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 da. Saying yeah. it effing da, 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 is a is aggressive. You know, it's <laughs> kind of is right. Oh man. <laughs> yeah like i like swearing too yeah but yeah but it, but it depends you know like i swear in front of my mother i would never I swear would never. at my mother like i'll say all oh, this fucking this this effing that but i would never say you effing whatever you You've effing never did done this that? you effing no not to my mom not no. as a kid no well <laughs> maybe and i got slapped i'm sure okay i was gonna say i thought white kids could get away with that no no man i got hit hey, man. yeah okay. i mean right. i mean i got physically corrected hey man look i i got we all whip, got hit as kids i got whippings man and i don't <laughs> feel like i was abused a day in my life but you know no, i don't think i was abused but no it's like it's it's there's a lot of things with the with the language and then you get that that thing when you're texting and you can't tell tone that's a whole nother oh, thing God, like i hate that like what do you mean you're like i'm confused what's happening i would never have a serious conversation through text no. Um, a so, wise man told me is that nothing intelligent has never been <laughs> said through text. Well, but I've also had to have a text conversation because it gets too riled up if you try to talk about it in person. Because if it's like a sensitive topic and, and, you, and you've tried to talk about it a couple times in person and this conversation just does not go well, I'm like, look, obviously in person this is not going to work. No. Do you want to try to text about it? No. Because you can think about what you're saying. You can no. be concise. Some I mean, people, yeah. when they get flustered with yeah, words, that's true. just say ignorant stuff or don't speak properly. That's true. You know, so it's... I'm, I'm in that camp, too, of people, like, when emotion starts... Because I'm so I'm so even keeled all the time. Yeah, is that my body doesn't deal well with that extra adrenaline. Right. So when the going gets tough, so I just start being like... Mwah! Right, right. My exactly. body gets like... It's, like my first hit of adrenaline in months. So yeah, like I would never doing? start a conversation that's super serious via text, yeah. but I would finish it via text if it had to go there. Yeah, because you're I mean, already like, okay, we've tried and this has went nasty. Let's yeah. let's let's try to let's try to have concise conversation. You think you ever broke up with a girl through text? No. You never have. No. I've definitely been broken up with via text. Uh, yeah, I mean, have I been broken up with via text? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I've had a girl be like, you know, I just, I'm just not feeling it, like, yeah. you know, whatever, and that's fine. Like, I don't really care. Yo, I have not done that. Even as a kid, I remember, um, I would, I always had the, the premise of like, I will never break up with a girl via text because I feel like that's some cowardly shit. Yeah. and it was probably because it happened to me. You and broke like, up with her via voicemail. Honey, the same Via voicemail is wild, <laughs> yo. I feel like that is. I feel like I've definitely come home from work, or not from work, come home from school, and went to my answering machine and be like, "Dynamite, this really just isn't working." I've definitely come home to one yeah, of those. Yeah, I have answering not. machine. I said, "Yeah, I said it." Answering machine. I said what I said. So. 
Anyways, you know, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, leave some comments down there. Go to thecrazetown.com and subscribe. But for Jonas, TNT, uh, we're out.